Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to be linking up an Outlook calendar with Amazon's Alexa. So Amazon created the Alexa app and they have several devices which run it, the Dot, the Echo, and the Tap. And these devices are basically, uh, they it's, it's essentially Siri, but you don't have to press a button to access it. And they said that um, they were trying to go for kind of the computer from the original Star Trek, where the crew members would ask the computer a question, and it would just answer it. So one of the, it can't do everything yet, but one of the best features is being able to, before you wake up in the morning, say, Alexa, what's my schedule like today? And it being able to read off your uh, calendar of events for the day. And the way you do that is you link your um, calendar. Now right now, Al uh, Alexa can sync up to a Gmail calendar, and we've already done a video on how to do that. Um, I'll post the link right here, but today we're going to be covering how to link up a um, an Outlook calendar. So if you're in Outlook, or if you use Outlook, you probably have a pretty, um, if you use Outlook for business, then you probably use your calendar a lot as well. Um, for what we're doing today, I've created, I think it's eight test events just so we can see if it works. A bunch are in February, which is around right now. And then there's also um, a couple in March. And then this, uh, I have, it, it doesn't show it as well right now, but it's just, um, it's just this test eight. I created a reoccurring event that happens um, once a week um, on, on Wednesdays in April. So we have enough events that we can test if it's working. Um, now, you don't need to be logged into Outlook because um, we're going to be doing pretty much everything through the uh, Alexa app. If you are logged into Outlook, then um, that'll save you a step later on. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to go to a browser and type in alexa.amazon.com and when it asks you, just log in. Now, if you are using this on your Amazon device or an iOS or Android device, tablet, uh, the Alexa app, then you'll just open that up and it should take you to this screen. If you're using the browser, you'll have to log in before you get to this screen. So what you want to do is go to settings, um, scroll down to calendar, and then you can, right now you can sync up uh, Google or Gmail calendars and Microsoft Outlook calendars. The uh, Microsoft Outlook calendars, that feature was released uh, earlier this week and it's been a feature that's been requested for years, uh, for the last couple of years since Amazon released Alexa initially. So what you want to do is click on this. Now, um, when uh, I'm just going to open up, um, oh, what was it called? Helium. I'm going to open this up because uh, I need something to stay in front because when I click on it, it has uh, personal information which I don't want to be seen. So, okay, there we go. Anyway, so it has basically my full name right there, which I don't want to show. Anyway, so we want to link a Microsoft Calendar account. So let's click that. And then it's going to take us to, um, uh, to Outlook. And since I'm already logged in, I can just click on Matthew's Tutorials because that's the account I want. It's going to sign in. And once it's signed in, it's going to say, are you sure you want Alexa to have information? Uh, it'll be able to have access to your calendars, read your profile, read your contacts, and access info anytime. Are you sure? Yes, we do, because otherwise it won't work. So we'll let that log in. It'll take a couple seconds. Once it's done, it'll say, you're done. You can now return to Amazon Alexa. So we'll close that window, and we're back. And notice what it did was um, we had in Outlook, we had um, the main calendar, U.S. states, birthdays, a second calendar, a third ca and a third calendar. I think that's it. So when we come back here, we have our second calendar, we have a third calendar, birthdays, we have the main calendar, and the United States holidays, which is, I think that one's 
there by default. Now, I don't really want this uh, United States calendar or birthdays to be shown. Um, I really don't need second or third to shown, but I'll, I'll just leave them on for right now. So I'm going to turn those ones off just because they're not something that I am interested in. Uh, you can turn off or on whichever calendars you want. Just keep in mind that if you have a lot of events happening in a day, it'll take Alexa a long time to read them all off. So once that's done, we can go into um, we can go into our Alexa uh, device and we can ask it some questions. So I have up here the uh, different questions that we can ask. And let me just set this up really fast. I've um, I will. Okay, cool. So here is my um, my dot right there. So let's ask it some questions. Um, and I believe it's this one. Yeah. Okay. So here are the different events that we have. So let's ask it a question. Sorry, I'm trying to make it where we can see everything. Okay, there we go. Alexa, what's my schedule like today? Today, there is one event remaining. At 8 p.m., there's test event one. Alexa, what's my schedule like on Friday? On Friday, February 24th, there is one event. At 9 a.m., there's test event three. Alexa, what's my schedule like on March 4th? There's nothing scheduled on Saturday, March 4th. And that's correct, because I don't have anything there. But besides just seeing what events you have um, on a certain day, you can also add events. So let's try that now. Um, Alexa, add an event on March 4th called Happy March 4th at 9 a.m. Sure. And what's the name of the event? Happy March 4th. That's Happy March 4th on Saturday. March 4th at 9 a.m., right? Yes. Okay, I've added that. Cool. So she added the event, and notice that all of a sudden, that event pops up in your calendar. So um, I know that you can add events. I don't, I'm not sure about being able to delete it. I tried doing that earlier, and uh, she didn't seem to be able to... Um, delete events so that might be um, something that they added in just so you can't accidentally delete your whole schedule but basically that is all you need to do to be able to set up your Outlook calendar to be read by your Amazon uh, Alexa enabled device and oh, I just said Alexa here I'll turn that off um, but Basically, that is, um, um, yeah, it's a super powerful thing, and I just wanted to show you how to use that in, in case uh, you're new to Alexa um, or haven't enabled that uh, feature. It's, it's incredibly useful, and um, I, I love being able to wake up in the morning and before I open my eyes just say, Alexa, what's my schedule like for today, and get an immediate answer. Kind of sets me up for the day. So hopefully this has been helpful, and I will see you next time in another um, tutorial video. Have a great one. Bye.